everybody and welcome back. This is the fun nail art design that we will be working on today. I am celebrating my 25th wedding anniversary today and I wanted to do something that had a lot of sparkle, a lot of pizzazz, and of course a lot of silver. If you want to see how I did it, please stay tuned. The first thing that we want to do is we want to take a makeup sponge, cut it into quarters like I have done, Take your white lily, put it on, then we're just going to dab it down. Now before we put this in the lamp, we do want to go ahead and take the plastic off. We do not want to cure this at all with the plastic on there. We're just going to sit it in our lamp for 15 seconds. Alright, we want to do a second coat, and this time we're not going to go down quite as far. We're just going to darken up the tip. Now we want to take our makeup sponge, and we want to do a little bit of the after five. I've got a clean makeup sponge, or a different one, for the gray color. You don't want to go over top of the white. Remember, gel polish doesn't cure till it's in a lamp, so that polish is still going to be wet on the other sponge. Now we're just going to go down about three quarters of the way of where that white was. We want to leave a little bit of white showing underneath to make it almost a gradient effect. Cure this in your lamp for 15 seconds and then we're going to come back and do a second coat to darken that up. Now we want to go in with our silver glitter. We want to do two coats of this, not going down all the way, just about three quarters of the way of the silver nail polish. We're going to cure this for one minute after each coat. After we have cured the glitter polish for the second time, we want to take a little bit of our gel cleanser clean off that moisture layer because now we're going to go into using our regular polish before we come back with this sensational top coat. So we want to take that chunky glitter polish that we had. It's got small chunks and it's got large chunks and we just want to kind of start dabbing it around until we get some of the glitters on that nail. And you want to make sure that you have a couple of pieces of the big one. While that glitter polish is drying, we're going to go ahead and apply our rhinestone border around our half moon. So take your top coat, just kind of trace that line and start applying your rhinestones. Actually, that is pretty enough. You could leave it just like that, but I want to go all out for this 25th anniversary that I'm celebrating, so I'm going to go ahead and add some more rhinestones to the top silver portion of this nail, and I've just got some various sizes of stones, and I'm just going to place them randomly. Now that that is all dry, we want to use our Sensational Gel Base and Top Coat and we want to move over these stones slowly so that no air bubbles come up and we want to make sure that the gel surrounds the stones. Once you get done with this, you're going to cure it in your lamp and instead of just doing the one minute, I like to go two minutes since I have to put this on so thick and that seems to make sure that it's good and cured. Mm -hmm. 
So here is your fun and beautiful 25th anniversary silver nail art design. I hope you enjoyed. Please share it with others. And if you choose to recreate this, please share a video response and let me see what you've done. Thank you for watching.